you want to learn how to type on a path in Illustrator? My name is Monika Zagrobelna and in this Envato Touch Pass tutorial I'll show you the basic techniques for adding the text to a path. But before we get started, you may need a font for your text. The subscription on Envato Elements gives you access to thousands of fonts in all the styles you can imagine. Visit the link in the description to find the perfect font for your next project. Let's move on to the tutorial now. To type on a path, the first thing you need to do is to create a baseline for the text to follow. Create either a circle or a part of a circle within the batch. Your choice will depend on how much text you have and how far you would like it to wrap around the circle. After you create your path, click on it using either the Type tool or the Type on a Path tool. If you are working with a closed path, such as a circle, your only option is the Type on a Path tool. Click on the path and enter your text. In some cases, the text will not fit on the curve. Notice the square box with a plus symbol in it? That indicates that there is more text than path. No worries, we can fix it very easily. First, give the text some breathing room. Click on the text with the selection tool. This will allow you to see the left, center, and right alignment brackets. Using the selection tool, drag the left bracket to the far left of the path and the right bracket to the far right. Now you have access to the entire path. If your text is still falling off the path, you will need to adjust the size, spacing, or horizontal scale of the font to fit it along the path. Sometimes it's as simple as using a different font. Now that the text is in place, you can format it the same way you would any other text using the control panel, the paragraph panel, or the character panel. There are several different effects you can apply to the text on a path. To apply them, select the path and go to Type, Type on a Path, Type on a Path options. Rainbow is the basic style, but you can also try Skew, 3D Ribbon, Stair Step, and Gravity. You don't like where your text sits on the path? No problem. In the Align to Path menu, choose one of the following options. Ascender, Descender, Center, or Baseline, which is the default setting. What if you don't want your type to run on top of the text path you created? Flip it! It's as simple as grabbing one of the alignment brackets and pulling it to the other side of the path. You can also flip the text by going to the Type on the Path options and selecting Flip. Sometimes text doesn't flow smoothly along a path. Tight curves are especially vexing. When this happens, you will have to either adjust the curve or adjust the text. To adjust the text, go to the Type on a Path options. Enter a value or choose from the values provided. The higher the number, the more space that is removed between characters. So far, I have only shown you how to apply horizontal text. You can also create vertical text on a path. Select either the Vertical Type tool or the Vertical Type on a Path tool. Then, Click on your path and start typing to create a vertical text. And that would be all! If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe! Also, click the bell icon to be notified of new videos on the Envato Tats Plus channel. This was Monika Zagrobelna for Envato Tats Plus. Thanks for watching!